Hi, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit uh, with what's going to be going on on the channel in the next week and some upcoming games. So first off, I do want to talk about there is a expansion coming for Grim Dawn in October. Um, Grim Dawn is a really fun game that I've put a couple hundred hours into. It does have a hardcore mode along with PoE. Uh, it's multiplayer with, I don't know exactly how many people, maybe up to four people. Um, but this expansion offers a ton of stuff. So for people who don't know anything about Grim Dawn, it is a multi-class system game. I personally really enjoy the customization offered with a multi-class system, along with a devotion tree system, uh, which you'll kind of have to look at yourself, but it's pretty much like a third class on top of that. Now, let's talk about a few things coming in the expansion uh, for people who know a little bit about it. Uh, expansion's only going to be $18, so it's going to be a DLC from them. I'm sure you may be able to do some giveaways in the near future if... Uh, if we do end up playing it, which I'm pretty sure we're going to end up playing it. Um, expansion is going to be released in October. Um, there's going to be the Inquisitor and Necromancer, so it looks like a fun summoner over here. Um, 15 additional levels, so the cap is increased to 100. This means hundreds of powerful new items. Um, and there's 14 new constellations. That's actually insane. Uh, with the Devotion cap increased to 55. So I'm very, very, very excited uh, for this. What else does it say? We have exciting things planned for Grimdom, the biggest of which is the upcoming illusion system. I don't know what the fuck this is and skill modifiers, but I don't want to ruin... Okay, maybe I'll click it. Maybe I'll click it. What does it say? Uh, what is the illusion? The illusionist. Oh, it's MTXs? Is that what it is? We get some MTX in the game? Okay, yeah. Nice. All right, so that's that's pretty cool, dude. It's always it's always fun to kind of customize your character so you don't look like you're wearing the same rags you picked up when you were four years old. Wait, what? It's like a transmog system. Okay, so on to some other news. Let's go ahead and jump into PoE. Um, so in terms of PoE, what we've been doing with the League, uh, I just want to show you guys the characters that we currently have. Uh, I've got the level 100 RF character, the 80... Blight Death's Oath character, the 78 uh, Ice Trapper, uh, the current character we're playing right now, which is my range attack totem, Chieftain, uh, the Necromancer Summoner, uh, what, what was it specifically, uh, da -da -da -da, Spectral Spirits, and then the Wander. So I've actually really taken a lighting to my Chieftain character. I probably will not be playing these other four characters. People continuously ask me for like build guide updates. I'm sorry guys, but I just like to work on one character at a time and Pox Swim is the current character we're going to be playing. Uh, so this is the Range Attack Totem Chieftain, and I've really been enjoying this character quite a bit. Uh, we've been doing, essentially, Beachheads. I'm probably going to do Beachheads from 93 onwards. I may do, like, some Double Beyond maps and whatnot, uh, and you guys will see some of that in the near future to come. So one thing I also want to talk to you guys about, uh, being as I said I was going to be gone for a couple days in South Florida, I have scheduled a couple videos for you guys uh, in the near future to watch. So we've got the Range Tactum Chieftain in a T-15 Beachhead to show you guys what it looks like. Um, Coward's Trial Showcase, because I think that people really don't run this map and it's actually really good. Um, some tips on the Pantheon, and doing some Breach maps with the Range Attack Totem character, and then of course this video along with that. So anyway, that's just a couple updates with what's going on. I haven't really changed anything regarding my Atlas. I don't really know what character is coming next. Uh, as for our wealth, we're still doing good. I've got 1200 Chaos. We found a Mirror Shard earlier, uh, so that was awesome. I actually have that on footage, so you'll see that in one of the videos too. We may do some Ancient Orb Gambling soon. We've got 62 of them. Um, and then I still have this five link shafts that I have no clue what I'm doing with it. So we do have to probably play something along with that. But that's pretty much about it. I just want to give you guys a little bit of updates with what is going on. Hope you guys have had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. And as always, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And you remember you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Our